There was a comment I got, and it was probably a couple weeks ago now, that said that they were really looking forward to this cave. It was during my poll to see which cave I should do first, after the Seafloor Resort, which was the one I included in my 1K sub special. And they included a disco ball emoji. And that, combined with me looking at this and seeing the dancing Pikmin and the lights, I wonder, is a certain boss-looking enemy from the trailers going to be in here? Ooh, I hope so! What's up, Buttercups? This is a friendly reminder that this is my first and mostly blind playthrough of Pikmin 4. Please refrain from posting spoilers on upcoming areas, features, characters, or plot points that I haven't experienced yet. However, if you have any tips, tricks, or advice to share, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm more than happy to learn. With all that said, sit back, grab a snack, and let's get back to Pikmin 4. Thank you! What's up, Buttercups? My name is Scale Tree, and welcome back to another episode of Pikmin 4. In the last episode, we completed the Sub-Zero Sauna and did just a tiny bit of finishing up Serene Shores. In this one, I am starting my last bulk recording before I go on vacation. I'm hoping to get three or four episodes done so that I'll have plenty left as a backlog so that I can also rest a little bit when I return, get back on my time zone, etc. So in the interest of time, I'm going to blast the advice and tips that I got between last recording session and this one, right now. There you go! Also, uh, let me know if you guys prefer when I do that or not. I don't mind reading them all aloud, but I'm just kind of doing this to save time, because I want to make sure I get as much gameplay and stuff out to you guys before I go. So, without further ado, I've got a couple of people to talk to in camp. Horoheli! Horoheli! You rescued all three of them! That's wonderful! I can't thank you enough! 50! Whoa! Wait, so these rescue an entire group missions give 50 materials? That's awesome. No. I'm disappointed with myself for being such an unreliable supervisor. But I can take responsibility now for getting my students home safe. Fantastic. I'm I'm really happy for you. I'm glad that we could find all of your little ones. Speaking of little ones, I believe we haven't spoken to this one yet. No se. No se? Hiya! Oh, uh, are you from this planet? No? Okay, yeah. So then, does that mean you must be in the rescue corps? That is so awesome! I'm Kaya. I came here with my high school's planetary science club, but things have not gone according to plan. Our ship malfunctioned, and yeah, we were able to escape, but it was a big flustery mess, and that's not even the half of it. Yeah, <laughs> I certainly believe you there. Now, using this new teleportation feature, let's go talk to Frise. Hello, sir. I still say you look quite a lot like the teacher over there, but, I mean, who am I to judge? Yahanin. Yahanin. Oh, you're the one who had the good sense to rescue me. What was your name again? Was it... Kip Kip? Oh my, where are my manners? I should introduce myself. I am the accomplished musical genius, Frise. Can you believe I joined the TV station on their spaceship, only to end up in an awful crash? My cosmic talent was nearly lost. Oh boy. <laughs> You're one of those, I see. Make a buckle. I believe my encounter with the ancient life of this planet was orchestrated by a muse of music. Nothing shows the heart of a culture like music. There's bound to be some musical treasures here to play on. Could I perhaps impose upon you to gather them for me? Oh? I had planned to ask you to look for this treasure. How like you to have already started collecting, Kip Kip? Oh? Thank you, sir. Find four musical treasures? Wait, when did I do that? <laughs> the only one I can remember off of the top of my head is the music box for the Blossoming Arcadia, the one that plays the Pikmin 3 intro theme. Funky, okay. Eight? Hello? <laughs> 
Guys, I'm so confused. <laughs> what are these treasures? Bleed eye. It seems I am bearing witness to a small miracle. You started before I could ask. Truly, a muse of music smiles upon me. Find all musical treasures. Okay, so I assume there's probably about 12 then, given the increments of the others. Good gravy! Look at how much materials we have. We're definitely making a lab pit stop before we go. Oh, I'm utterly stupefied. How many Pikmin do you lead now, Kip Kip? Yeah, Flarlick indeed. Sorry for confusing you for Petunia in one of the previous episodes. I uh, completely forgot that she was the one who was about onion fusion and you're the one about Flarlicks. My apologies, sir. Try to amass even more. If anyone can do it, it's you, Kip Kip. Collect eight flower licks. Okay, and that's definitely the cap because that will bring us to the 100 Pikmin limit. Okay. All that done. It's lab time? <gasps> yeah. Guys, I'm never going to get over how absolutely cool that is. <laughs> Let's go, sir. <laughs> so oh. <gasps> yes! Yes! Uh, sorry, sorry. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. Ochi has been taking so much damage recently, and I know I only just got, like, the Tough Stuff in a recent episode, but... I feel like Tough Stuff Plus, for Ochi in particular, is gonna be super important, especially for upcoming night missions. It occurred to me after recording the last batch that he might not be able to use Glow Mob at all, so, I would still want to bring Kip Kip back to camp, but I could send the Pikmin over to Ochi if I wanted by switching. I, I am gonna redeem my lost honor. I am hell bent on doing so next time I do a night mission. Probably not be in this recording session. For now, tough stuff. And I'm just gonna go because that was most of my money. Uh, mm, materials. Materials. So. Here's my general plan for the next couple of episodes. I'm gonna go to Serene Shores. I'm gonna try to wrap up the overworld, if at all possible. I'm going to do that, I assume, last Dandori challenge, which is available there. And then I'm gonna jump into the final cave and have that be kind of my finale for the area. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Why do I always do that? <laughs> Let's just get going. I do know where I'm going next. Oh, hey. It's not to rescue Olimar. I am really sorry, Colin, but we have so much work to do. Goodbye, everybody! Uh... Oh, fantastic. Uh, also, in case any of you guys were wondering, yeah, I'm probably not going to do a night mission in this batch, but I realized, much to the dismay of <laughs> some of my viewers, I did not flirt properly with Yanni last time, and that just isn't right. You know, I, I do it as a bit, because I think it's, I think it's funny. <laughs> I knew just... By looking at Yanni, I'm like, you know, the fandom thirsts for him. And upon gazing at Tumblr, I was not wrong. <laughs> so, my impression is that... <laughs> is that for the people, I must flirt with this man and or Dingo. And by me, I mean Kip Kip, because I, Scale Tree, am happily taken. Alright, you guys get to work on these during... Oh, you know what? Dandori issue. I need to split up, which, you know, as you guys can tell, is obviously my favorite thing in the world to do. Ochi? I think... Hmm. Actually, I don't know if he can take this treasure back because he floats. But I know what I can do. I can use my newfound powers to switch to Kip Kip and disband, so I've got all the ice Pikmin. Ochi can take the blues. And with the power of Go Here, which I can actually use effectively now, I can have him take care of that. And honestly, why do I even have 
<laughs> I should probably minimize the ice Pikmin for now while it's high tide. So I think I'm gonna just put you guys away and take out a buttload of blues until further notice. <sighs> okay. While he works over there, we're gonna see if we can get a hold of this treasure down here and take care of these enemies. I'm pretty sure they're just fish, right? Probably. Ochi arrived at destination. Perfect. Ah, there's the pearl. And while I'm here, may as well get a couple of new blue Pikmin. It's the Pikmin type I have the most of now. <laughs> by a long shot, but that's okay. And now, if I go back to Kip Kip, I can command Ochi to come here. Return to me, my dog child. Ah, okay. Okay, at least these swarms of fish are slightly more manageable in this game than they were in previous titles. And at least those guys have very little HP. Oh, it's grapes! <gasps> That's fabulous. Oh, hi, Ochi! I almost forgot. I think I got um, dusk pustules in a previous area. Wait a minute. I can ask Ochi to get me stuff underwater? That was completely an accident, but... Hey, I'm not complaining. Pfft, go ahead, boy. Get that treasure for me, why don't ya? <laughs> and another zest bomb right here out in the open. Fantastic. Is there anything else I'm missing over here? Any digging spots for materials? No? Oh, man. I actually think I'm Dandorian kinda well. Oh, well, I mean, I guess I don't have Ochi here to do this rush, but I'm not sure he can rush underwater. So, I'm just gonna call some babies back to me, and while these guys beat their heads against this wall, very literally, question of the day. If you could go on vacation anywhere on Earth, where would you go? For me, I am dying to see... I can't pick between Germany and Chile, which are two incredibly different countries, <laughs> and I acknowledge that, but I had a friend in Chile for a really long time, and I always wanted to go see him. Super cool guy. And... Wait, why did I do that? <laughs> I don't need this. Uh... <laughs> Ah, Dandori issues. We love to see it. We love to see these glowing beams of light for no reason. Alright, do I have every overworld treasure? I don't think so. There's probably gonna be one in here, at least. If not, a nice, fat, chunky pile of materials I can do. But that's okay. I think for the rest of this episode... I am going to try to take care of this Dandori challenge. I guess it depends on how many attempts I have to do. Because like I said, I'm not going to be fussed if I have to redo. Ice cross course. Alright, it looks like we've got kind of a playset theme for this one. Lots of icy candy pop buds. I don't actually know if they have a different <laughs> name than that. Oh, plenty of sponges. And six minutes. Oh, yeah. Ice cross course. Dandori level three. Oh, boy. <laughs> okay, fingers crossed. Whoa. You look like a little sea monster, my friend. Even down to the four eyes. I can respect that, you know. In this house, we love and respect leaflings of all colors. Heavy things have more value, but heavy is hard to carry. It is important how you carry. That is where you show your worth. Okay. Throw your something. Oh, wow. Ooh. Ooh. 
just looking at this map, I think this is definitely harder than it looks, because if you recall what the intro screen looked like, these are all going to be at different elevations. That's probably going to be a pain in the butt. Oh well. Actually, you know what, Ochi? You can go get that sponge, and now I know you can do it. Come on, my frosty buddies. Ice about to melt. Oh, I bet I'm gonna need to use the, um... What do you call it? I bet I'm gonna need to use Ice Pikmin for their environmental advantages. Oh no. Come on, guys. Oh, wait a minute. You know, I don't even want to test that. I think I'm gonna restart because I need to bring the enemy corpses back, right? If I want a platinum? Let me know in the comments if this is unnecessary. Oh, yeah, Ice Pikmin might just make this super difficult. Ooh, let's go! At least I'm gonna start this the same way. Freeze swamp so it won't slow you down. Yeah. Come on, boys. We want to make sure that we get rid of this evil little bird. That's three extra points. Uh, well, at the cost of two Pikmin, that sort of blows, but I guess we're gonna have to just deal with it. Study progress is also good, Dandori. I hope so. Ice about to melt. Five Pikmin can go on there easily. I'm gonna be a little bit wary of these flowers for now. Hmm. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We don't want to do that yet. Oh, boy. No, uh. no, 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 no. No, 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 guys, 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 fellas. Oh, wait, those aren't my fellas. Those are the other fellas. <laughs> I need to beat this guy first. Ochi? Where on earth is Ochi? Oh, he's still dragging. Hmm, that doesn't feel good. I feel like that's a Dandori issue. <laughs> Gathering Pikmin. That is the foundation of good Dandori. I do agree with you there, sir. Mm. Ochi, are you anywhere near getting the stuff? Is that tar? Yikes. Okay. Ochi. Go ahead. Oh. Plan carefully where to work from. This is not going very well. <laughs> Alright. Okay. At least we're nice and close to camp. That's a benefit of these little Dandori maps. Hmm. So we basically have taken care of everything down here. What I need to do... ...is... ...handle all the stuff up here and around. Oh no. Oh, this is terrible. I can't stand idle like this. Come on, guys. Hurry it up. <laughs> uh, all I need to do is bronze. I can come back and gold or platinum some other day. That's ten, right? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Yes, don't leave Pikmin standing idle. I completely agree with you there. Oh boy. Ooh. Come on, buddies. I will do good Dandori. I want to do a Dan decent job. That's that is my main objective. All right. Go ahead. Uh, bring him back. It, like, literally wouldn't let me throw at him, and I think it's because that blue Pikmin was <laughs> dying to take care of that. All right, fellows. Ochi. I think you can take care of that, buddy. One, two. One, two. One, two. <gasps> oh! 
Well, isn't that convenient? I thought wild Pikmin didn't actually, you know, hurt <laughs> the enemies. Uh, maybe that's me being silly. Buddies, return to me. I require your assistance in this highly important mission. One that is life and death as we know it. The ducky is important, but I think this waddlepuss needs to be destroyed. I did see in the comments that apparently bubble hazards are much easier to manage. Oh boy. With um, ice pikmin. Go ahead, Ochi. Oh, fantastic. All right. All right. Ochi, we don't need you to take care of that. I think... Oh, well. Ten. Uh, charge. Uh-oh. Ochi, you could do, you could do that. Um, ugh. I have good Dandori. Okay. I'm glad to hear that. No. Because I certainly don't feel like I have good Dantori right now. Alright, fellas. Is this enough? Is this everything? No, it is not. Uh, I feel like I shouldn't have lost some of those Pikmin at the very beginning. Come on. Silver medal? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna gold this time around. That's okay, though. Whew. What matters for now is that I got the castaway. Thank goodness. Also, what was I saying? Ending it here? <laughs> no. No, 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 no. We're going to try to complete the overworld today. So incredible. I feel dizzy. Then 30 pieces of raw material is your reward. Oh boy. <laughs> Those were some incredible Dandori skills. All right, let's get them out of here. Okay. All right, slightly bummed about silver, but whatever. I can go back and do it again whenever I want, thanks to Jin. And this means, you know, more for later, more fun that we're going to get to spend together. It should have, I should have said time and not fun, but hopefully it'll be fun too. With all that leaf growth, there's no way to tell who this is, but it doesn't matter. It's our job to rescue them. All right. Suggested 80 blue Pikmin. Yeah. There's there's no way. And also, um, you know what? Yeah, let's let's add a couple more <laughs> Pikmin onto that. Hmm. Let's see. I need to go to this base. So, let's go ahead and do that. While I do, I think we're just gonna hang out. You know, let's chalk a bit. Let's chat. Whoa, hold on. Hello? That's really wild. Why didn't those show up on the map? Or did they and I just <laughs> not noticed them? Weird. Okay. Also, there's probably buried treasure somewhere. Hey, Ochi. Can you sniff out treasure? I'll jump on you, actually. Let's see if we can find the scent. Or are you just gonna bring me back up here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Raw materials. Oop. Thank you, guys! Checking the Leafling's ID info. Yeah, sorry, Colin. Better luck next time. Could not be analyzed. No surprises there. I appreciate your attempts to persevere. Ochi, let's let's get back to it. I'm sorry for the pit stop. I just like to collect all those raw materials when I can. Andale, boy! I think he's probably just gonna lead me to... Yeah... <laughs> To around where I did not build a wall. Wall. Well, yeah, a wall. A climbing wall on day two. Let's 
go ahead, move the base. I'm sure that will disrupt some of my Pikmin. Oh wait, actually no. Oh, I got everyone here. Amazing news. I don't need seven. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that was six. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. You know what? It's fine. Is there anything else I can be doing? Actually, yeah. While I wait for them to handle this, I want to s at least see what this new pipe is. Somebody mentioned the name in the comments, but I kind of didn't absorb it. <laughs> so let's experience it together now. Ooh. Below Grade Discotheque. While traversing the darkness, I came upon a delightful yet nostalgic object of mystery. Powerful streams of light, non-stop beats that assault the senses, a haze of smoke and music, and dancing Pikmin! It's like being back in the discotheques of my youth! Ooh! Oh my goodness! You know, hold on. There was a comment I got, and it was probably a couple weeks ago now, that said that they were really looking forward to this cave. It was during my poll to see which cave I should do first, after the Seafloor Resort, which was the one I included in my 1K subspecial. And they included a disco ball emoji. And that, combined with me looking at this and seeing the dancing Pikmin and the lights, I wonder, is a certain boss-looking enemy from the trailers going to be in here? Ooh, I hope so! Oh, that would be so sick! I'm, I'm gonna take a closer look at it in a minute. Right now, I want to make sure that I get as much of the overworld stuff done as possible. <gasps> oh! A blue onion! <laughs> I love that it's not even accessible unless you have blue Pikmin already. <laughs> I mean, I can't complain. It's more stuff towards 100%ing the area, at the very least. That is really, really funny that it can't even get it without having the Pikmin to begin with. 20 free blues, though. Can I really complain? No. No, I cannot. Oh, boy. Yeah, I'm feeling really good about this. Like, I've gotten a lot done. Even though we've only really just started. Alright, fabulous. Blue onion collected. Now, Ochi... Hmm. Ochi likes to lead you to the nearest source of treasure no matter what. I think. Even if it means going down into a cave. So that's exactly what he's gonna do. If I missed a buried treasure, I might have to come back to it and spend one more day here. But that's okay. You know, it'll be a day where I can potentially farm some more sprays, do some more Pikmin. I might do a lot of that off screen. Just because, you know, won't really be worth recording. <laughs> but, for now, I think this is a perfect spot to pause. I apologize if this episode is a little bit shorter. Like I said, I'm trying to get done three or four before my vacation. I'm extremely excited to get to this cave. I, I mean, it looks so cool. Look at those, I think those are like bouncing pads. They look like it. Ambience? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I can tell. This is going to be a fun one. Lots of elevation, lots of ups and downs. I see some red Pikmin sprouts. And I also notice that the wild Pikmin are a bunch of question marks, which lead me to believe that, like in the Sub-Zero Sauna, which is where I found white Pikmin, Maybe we're going to find winged Pikmin here. I, I mentioned that too. I was just like, man, you know, I find it so hard to believe that we've got purples and whites, but no wings yet because we found rocks a lot earlier. Well, that is my prediction that winged Pikmin are going to be here. And if they aren't, you know, I'll eat my words. <laughs> I'll eat them and it'll be fine. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I hope to see you soon. Goodbye, everyone!